I'm doing this quick video because of um, don't believe everything you think channel that left the comments about Max Egan and Richard L. Grubb the things um, that you were saying in there it's piqued the interest of a few people actually uh, can you get in contact through email uh, what's it what did you tell me um, <laughs> sorry child of the 60s at protonmail.com I'll leave a link anyway but um, there's as you understand that I have got largely sidetracked with detailing the greater aspects of the people involved in Nightcap even though Max Egan is part of it and always someone I've been going keeping an eye on um, always been part of bringing what I've been doing to bring Max Egan into it but also knowing too that any criminal action you can't sue a fake person or a fake identity you have to have a real person so charges cannot be brought against a fake character <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's always been the ultimate go uh, goal and know that have to find out what Max Egan's real name is, whether that's something that I would be able to find out before I handed all investigations over to police with, here you go, there it is, um, there's your silver platter, these are the people, this is how it all fits together, there it's all time flowed. There are the links to explain details and there are the documents to support all these allegations of the criminal allegations and how all these groups of people have different levels of um, involvement in what will be put forward as a criminal organisation. Now it's not the first time I've said this, this is my intent and I've stated it very clearly. So, Max Egan, um, I did do what you said. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. So, as soon as I put on his latest video, Richard Grubb, or anything, you know, I left any, I did quite a few comments, and uh, he deleted them all within 11 hours. There was only one that there was any trace of where it said comment removed. <laughs> <laughs> so yes and besides Max Egan also confirmed via an email today too that or yesterday sorry that he knows the name Richard Grubb but he's he's making out that it was the previous owner of the Crow House or the land that he rents the Crow House on and well if he's on the title he may show up as an historical owner but you would seem to have done more title maybe searches I don't know um, that was the next step I was going to get onto using his date of birth also to do um, BDM searches to find narrow the field and see if I could find Max Egan's true identity and there were a couple of leads that I didn't follow up on months ago simply because I got so tied up with everything that started happening with Nightcap and all these other things. But I've never forgotten Max, never had any intention of leaving him behind or out on his own. He's a member of Nightcap. The video that um, you attached those comments to has actually been deleted now, so um, I deleted it. <laughs> Nobody censored me. I decided that it probably wasn't being taken in the spirit that I intended it and that it was going to waste too much of my time to explain to people that it was targeted towards a particular audience not a general audience and if you don't know who Max Egan is and why I would have a laugh at him really yeah I don't want to deal with that kind of 
rubbish when I'm trying to help people um, and if it's counterproductive it was requested that I shorten the video by 17 minutes to cut out my crap because they couldn't bear listening to me and to get to the point well yeah I did cut it I thought it a better point to go in a different direction because clearly people were missing the point of the opportunity that I was offering to people to bring their own stories forward but I am asking to shift that people to bring their own stories forward but about Max Egan uh, anything you know about Max Egan any experiences you've had other than the usual trolling I mean you've got to have you know like <laughs> some kind of unique experience other than what just everybody else gets but uh, the email if you can send that off to my mate because he's been gathering stuff about Max Egan and there's stuff that he can probably pass on to others that um, might be able to help what they're doing as well so if we can get our heads together on Max Egan we might be able to crack this fake open and find out who's really behind the masked singer <laughs> okay I probably laughed then and offended somebody so I'm going to take my sarcasm <laughs> and leave it and say catch you next time